Thanks, Dad. Love you. Appreciate you. Give you guys a closer up look uh we're having a fuel line issue we had a fuel line that was squirting out fuel that's why dad was stomping on the gas and it was cutting out you see that cracked right there and actually all through here you can see where this and basically this is just old line that's rotted out see it's cracked back here and there's a big crack right there that's where the gas was coming out here crack there crack everywhere crack crack what that would explain this wet spot that we keep finding well, that looks like, that looks more like gas than the water. Yep. Uh, although, that could, we had it running, and that could be from that. Yeah. Yep. Well, every time I would cut it off, Dolores would say, I smell gas. And I'm like, it's an old car. Well, but I just kept telling her, it's an old car. Anytime you got a gas leak, it means the carburetor's sucking air. So, that's what that was. And if you think about it, I... Uh, I'll take this thing out for a spin, and it'll 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 get sideways when it goes into second gear. With an with a with a sucking air, I mean this thing is this thing's a rock. <laughs> I forgot how fast it was. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. I went back and looked at YouTube videos, and I did one I did one called uh, Going Fast in the Rambler, yeah. and I drove it to work and back, and I think I was doing like 80 or 90, and I was like, look at this, and I just I'd hammer down on it. And go, I forgot, I forgot how quick this thing is. I was just giggling the whole way. I was like, hee hee hee. That's a lot of fun. Um, also, I don't like this plastic. And I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I let it go out of the house this way. But this is a plastic um, oil line. This, is goes, this goes into a little connection in the back, in the back of your block back there underneath your distributor. Mm -hmm. And it goes to that oil pressure gauge. And... The problem with that is if it gets up against something and gets hot, it can melt that. And if it does, it squirts all your oil out and burns your motor up. Uh, you can get that in metal and get a copper line to replace that with. And it's a little bit of trouble to get it to go because it's very hard to get to that space down in there where it goes. Sometimes it's easier to pull the distributor out to get to that to get it stopped where it won't leak. But, uh, you know, that's something, to, that's something to keep an eye on right there. And that's why I noticed when your gauge wasn't working, I was thinking, okay. But that's one of the things I always did is keep an eye on the gauge. But if I lost oil pressure, I'd know to, to be concerned about that stupid plastic line. On the... Uh, we, can get some, we can get some line, too, if you're up to it. Yeah, well, I was thinking if you're up to it, it's going to be a little bit of... Uh, we're going to be... We're going to be doing some fun stuff, but we can make it happen. Uh, we can do that this weekend, too. Uh, when we go to get this, we'll see if we can get us a metal... Um, line kit okay. for a uh, Stuart Warner. Oh, pressure gauge. I think that's a Stuart Warner. Alright. 